Hello, I'm Hubert Lacroix. Today's strategy announcement is for all Canadians, wherever you are and however you are receiving this message. On our website, on YouTube, via Twitter, on your laptop, your smartphone, or a wearable device. These platforms and devices are actually key to our thinking. Today, we begin the next chapter in our journey to reimagine your public broadcaster. This message is about why and how we're going to get it done. As we head towards 2020, some fundamental shifts are driving the transformation of the media universe and consequently, how we intend to serve you. First, the digital wave that we've experienced in the recent past is nothing to what is coming. In the extraordinary appetite of Canadians to consume and share on every conceivable platform their experience of the Sochi Olympic Games, and 33 million of us did, we saw a glimmer of what's to come. One in three Canadians followed the games on a portable device, and 2.5 million Canadians downloaded our Sochi app. Canadians are digitally sophisticated and hungry. With this plan, we intend to double our digital reach, which means that by 2020, 18 million Canadians, one out of two, will use our digital services each month. That digital world will facilitate the second shift, the move towards the individual. How data is used to personalize the public's media choices will continue to change the game. It will not be enough to deal with audiences en masse. We will need to know and interact with them in new ways. Canadians will expect, will even demand, that the relationships they value with people, institutions and brands recognize them as individuals. By 2020, three out of four Canadians will answer that CBC or Radio-Canada is very important to them personally. The final shift is one dictated by changes in the media sector. A sustainable financial model that supports conventional and local television, important vehicles for shared national consciousness and identity will need to be invented because advertising revenues are shifting to global internet players like Google and Facebook. Conventional broadcasters are not eligible for subscription revenues. And public financing, whether to the industry as a whole or direct support for public broadcasting, has decreased substantially. Conventional private broadcasters are not profitable, and we at CBC Radio-Canada have had to downsize three times in the last five years. The system is broken. Meantime, as these shifts are happening, large numbers continue to watch television and listen to radio in traditional ways. In fact, Canadians on average are watching more television, not less, from 23 hours to 28 hours per week in the last decade. So, these services will continue to be relevant and essential in this new media universe. We're actually moving from a conventional world whose model is declining towards a new world that cannot yet pay its own way. Which brings us to a core feature of our plan. Audience behavior, advertising models, and methods of production are shifting more quickly than the industry can adapt. If we are to fulfill our mandate in the years to come, we must immediately begin a fundamental transformation. We must and we will become a smaller, more scalable, and more agile broadcaster. And that means that we will need to make more choices. It also means that we need to pay attention to the business environment and to have the courage and conviction to adjust our plan as the pace of change accelerates. So, how do we make these choices? First, we listen. In an online questionnaire we recently put to you, we heard loud support, but we also heard concern and we heard frustration. Those comments are on our website. Conversations, that will be a way of life for us as we head to 2020. Our vision, which we've called a space for us all, is about reimagining CBC Radio-Canada to be the public space at the heart of our conversations and our experiences as Canadians. As the media universe becomes more crowded, Canadians need a space they can call their own, 
we will be at the heart of that space. Canadians are great storytellers. Making sure that our musicians, our artists, our writers and actors can tell their stories in this vast content universe is part of our mandate. We are now the most diverse collection of citizens on the planet, growing by more than one million newcomers from every corner of the world every five years. What builds community, shared values and shared goals, remains the work of storytellers. They make up the invisible threads that connect our shared experience. Our plan is to focus all of our resources and creative energy on bringing those stories to life, to share them, to have them form the basis of the intense relationship that Canadians have with each other, with their country, and with their broadcaster. To retain that focus, there are some things we have to do. A Space for Us All is a promise by CBC Radio Canada to do three things. Intensify and deepen its one-to-one -one relationship with individual Canadians. Work in partnership with the creative community to communicate the breadth and depth of Canada's reality and set CBC Radio Canada on a clear course to long-term financial sustainability. This reimagination can be divided into three buckets, content, infrastructure, and people. Our content will bring programming on both networks that is distinctively Canadian. It will be smart, different from the private broadcasters, creatively ambitious, and risky. On both CBC and Radio-Canada, we will invest in primetime television. We will build on success of our talk and information radio and offer a variety of music choices on our radio and online music services. We will also enhance multi-genre, multi-platform offerings such as EC 2.TV. Content for mobile consumptions across all genres and platforms will be a priority. New services in particular will increasingly tailor their approach to mobile users. Locally, we will also be moving to a mobile-first approach, inverting our traditional content priorities and rethinking the role of television news by connecting with audiences across mobile and digital platforms during the day and not just at supper hour. And to make this investment, we will establish baseline services in all the regions we serve. Incremental enhancements will be added in some markets based upon defined criteria such as mandate, service to minority language communities, success with audiences, and revenue opportunities. We will not reduce our geographical footprint. In fact, this approach may allow us to expand on it, but we will reduce costs and there will be changes to the nature of our services. We're also announcing a shift from producer to multi-platform broadcaster. This means significantly reducing in-house production, except for news, current affairs, and radio. This transition will commence immediately at CBC. At Radio-Canada, streamlining measures with an emphasis on flexibility will be examined with a view to progressively attaining the objective in the near future. Collaboration with the independent production community in a business relationship which respects our challenges will be key. Our basic sports offer will be multi-platform sports journalism. In addition, we aim to continue, just as we did in Sochi and as we will in Rio, to use a partnership approach to bring the Olympic Games to Canadians. And between the Games, we would focus our sports acquisitions only on select Olympic sports, but always in a fiscally responsible way. In order to achieve this content approach, our second core strategy targets infrastructure. We will modernize and shrink operations. We will become a scalable organization, better able to expand and contract as needs dictate. A key part of this initiative is to cut our real estate presence in half. And reducing our infrastructure costs also means reducing our costs in production facilities and equipment, IT, telecom, transmission and distribution, and mobiles. Finally, our third core strategy on people and culture sets out to simplify every part of CBC Radio-Canada. 
to increase our responsiveness, alignment, and empowerment. We must not only be smaller in terms of infrastructure, but also in terms of people. 1,000 of our people are now eligible for retirement. Through attrition, we lose about 300 employees a year. By 2020, we expect to have between 1,000 to 1,500 fewer employees, and we will get there in careful steps, balancing the needs of a new CBC Radio-Canada with the impact that these changes will have on our people's lives. The creativity and passion of our workforce will always be critical to our success. Over the last few years, we've had to resize the public broadcaster too often. This cannot continue. One of our prime objectives now is to find the ways and means that ensure a more certain financial future for CBC Radio-Canada. And this plan allows us to achieve a sustainable financial model for the plan's duration, assuming that our government appropriation remains stable over the next years. That sustainability will include setting aside 5% of our commercial revenues to help manage financial risk or to invest in strategic initiatives. We are, in fact, setting up our own line of credit. And that brings me back full circle to the starting point of this announcement. The three big shifts that are the inspiration for this strategy, the digital, the individual, and the sustainable. We will know that we've achieved what we set out to do when we have doubled our digital reach, when three out of four Canadians declare that they have a strong attachment to their broadcaster, and when we are smaller, scalable, and high impact. How will we get there? Well, every day for the last six and a half years, I have come to my office inspired by the knowledge that I work with the most passionate and dedicated workforce that I could imagine. Whether they are making you laugh or cry, telling you the results of an election, or bringing you images from Ukraine, these people love what they do. Even in these difficult times, they sweat blood for public broadcasting and get up in the morning and do it again. So, the goals that we set for ourselves are high. To achieve them, we will need you to be as passionate about your broadcaster as we are about our country. It is yours to shape. And together, when we get there, we will be able to say that we've built a space for us all at the heart of our conversations and experiences as Canadians. And we will have built a new CBC Radio Canada for a new age that is relevant, sustainable, and important to our country. Thank you.